Come on. Dude, I'm losing time in this. All right, boys, I'm already behind the eight ball in this one. I've already lost time, so it is what it is. Uh, normally I run a cap in 7 0 and I put a close. Oh, no. How much time did I lose? Is this only 45 minutes? I didn't lose time. Hold on. Oh, it is 45 minutes. Okay, I got time to spare. Hold on, fellas. Bear with me. I was thinking this an hour. I'm thinking of Sturgeon or uh, what was the other one? Extravaganza. Please tell me I got a Captain 7 with me. Are you serious, bro? Oh, well, there it is. Guys, this could be really slow the way I do it, too, so bear with me. I go bigger hooks hoping for bigger sturgeon, so I'm going to have a lot of them swim off. I'm trying to get bigger sturgeon with a bigger hook, so this either hits or misses for me. I play this kind of unorthodox. But I got to play it the way I like it, fellas. Holy, holy. Sorry, guys. This thing's a lot faster than my kayak. Whoa there, beast. What is going on with my, uh, what's up with my reel right there? That's weird. Nice driving, Tex. <laughs> well, there's a little speed difference between the kayak I was just using. <laughs> that thing was getting it. All right, boys, like I said, this can get kind of slow. I do this very unorthodox. And why is that there? No wonder I was down, I guess. I need a fast, fast bite. <laughs> yeah, that ain't my daddy's kayak. For sure, bro. All right, let's see if we get any luck in this one. Ooh, that was a fast bite. I'll take that. All right, we need 45 pound plus, fellas. At least he came quick here. We needed him to hit quick, and he did. He's in, we're out. I can't tell if he's big or not, though, but let's be honest with you. Let's test him and see what he's got. Uh, I don't know. Hard to say. Giles, ooh, Jer's up there. Jer's handing the flowers to third place, though. Man, I wish I, I, if I'd have known I had 15 minutes to spare, I was going to bring a couple extra baits with me, I forgot. <laughs> 52, that's why we like them, boys. We need big ones. the second one hit I have no idea
boys. Now I just gotta set and light. I thought about doing this one differently. I thought about doing a long cast, a short cast, long cast, and a short cast. I almost did that. Uh oh. We got XTFP in here. Who are we in here with? Jer and then. Since I got five people in here. So it's got five, but it's only showing two. What's up with that? Oh, no, never mind. It's just Jer and. What do you think, fellas? Do I wait this out or get the short one and cast back out there? Doesn't even feel like I'm getting any activity. I'm getting to swim off. Cast in, cast short, and then go long. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say, Essex, I didn't get a chance to respond today. My phone was buffering. I'd lost my internet, as you well know, but my phone was even buffering because I was going off of my satellite tower or whatever. But when you're on uh, Rex's stream, I was going to tell you, unless you were really worried about that one spot, there's really only that one spot that I ever worried about a... Uh, a pie kit in it. I mean, that, potentially that bottom spot, maybe, but it was just that spot by the island that I caught towards the end. That's the only spot I'd really worried about. As far as your titanium, as far as worrying about you losing your missing and hitting a pike, I didn't get a chance to respond to that. My phone was buffering, I forgot. Yeah, and Essex, everybody thinks about it a little differently. I've noticed uh, a lot in the game. Um, Tiger Trails going for the, the Goliaths. If you can take your leader off and not, you know, it's up to you. But if you can take your leader off, sometimes it does help your bite rate. But, yeah, I would definitely, definitely for the Taman, I would take your Titanium off. And you're using such a big setup, so if you're able to... Uh, you know, keep that fight meter in the orange by keeping your drag down a little bit. If you if you fill, you'll know that you have a pike and not a taman fairly quick. Finished forty seventh. Seventh. That's not bad, Tom. Well, look at him, Tom. You just gotta play them and just keep getting experience, man. Is this a small one? That is a small one, isn't it? Ah, oh, that ain't horrible. Forty eight. All right, I got to remember I went in this order. No, let me, let me, I'm going to cast out there now. I was going to cast right back short, but let's go back out here and see if I can get this one. In other words, Tom, just get your experience in it and you'll be able to make adjustments. Did you have fun in it though? Other than your game glitching out, it's a shame your game was glitching out on you, man. That sucks. I was worried about that a second ago and I crossed the, the finish line earlier and I, I probably could have made another cast and tried to get one more trophy, but I was scared to press my luck after hearing what happened to you and Jordan. And then Dave was telling me today, some guy on his chat had said that he, I think it was in Q1, the guy didn't realize you had to stop and he had a good score and he raced through the finish line thinking that he had to race through the finish line and he didn't stop his canoe and his, he, he lost his, he, he, potentially would have qualified or something i don't know who it was but it happened to somebody in q1 they had a really good run so i was oh there's a swim off okay at least we're getting spawns out there now bear with me fellas i'm hoping the smaller ones swim away and i'll get a bigger one but this is a big high risk reward the way i do this one 
Most people are going to run a 5060 on this. But I'm trying to get trying to get 45 to 50 54 pounders. I'm trying to get quality of fish. Even if I only get 18 or 19 or 20 of them, preferably 20. If I could ever get 20 of these things that are good size ones, I can place well. Don't mean you won't get a random 35 pounder, but it just seems like on average I get a little bigger ones. I don't know if this one's bigger. Oh, that's what she, I can't tell. He doesn't. Oh, I might have still got a small one, man. I can't tell. I felt a little smaller on the head, but no telling. Forty-two, forty-one. That ain't horrible. Could have been worse. Now if I can get this one out here fairly quick and get him a 45 or higher. Don't know though. Okay, I gotta remember I went one one. I gotta remember I went far short, far short. Hey legendary, how you doing, buddy? Oh, that's all right, Tom. Like I said, if you ever, uh, you're in my club and everything, Tom. If you ever need uh, some extra help with one of them, let me know. We can, I can help you out, man. If there's a comp in particular, or a lure or something you're trying to unlock, if there's something you need help with, just let me know. Like I said, I, I've gotten to the point, I'll still get annoyed every once in a while, but you just got to take the good with the bad on these things. You really do. Yeah, Legendary, we're, I'm doing this a different way. I keep repeating myself, but I'm I'm trying to get bigger fish with a 7.0. Most people are going to use a 5.0 or a 6.0 in this. So I'm trying to, trying to intentionally get some of these things to swim away and hope that it spawns me a bigger, trying to get a bigger average sturgeon. It doesn't always work out that way, but every time I've had a good run in this, it's usually usually me trying to target a bigger one within reason. I'm just hoping I got need to get one more over here and I can go to the island, but I need to get back over there fairly quick. And this one's definitely wanting to take his time for sure. Come on, bro. Changing baits even. It's like this thing's not gonna drop. Come on, bro. There was a swim off too. I don't know, fellas. This one has taken an eternity. That's the risk I take with the bigger hook. Part of me wants to switch baits and recast out. Point of leave a... 
That player is getting bad luck and getting the small ones. I'm not even catching a fish. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Is he there? Thank you for crying out loud. You're better late than never, aren't you, little guy? You better not be a 35-pounder. I'm going to start crying, too. Is it a 35-pounder right on the dot? 45. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's get the heck out of here, fellas. Better late than there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I know my boat's moved. Who cares? Load my stuff. Come on. Yeah, I'm off to a pretty slow start. Jerry, you'll have to watch watch back. I, I lost my internet today for eight hours. You'll have to watch back my stream and watch what I just did in that queue, too. I don't know if it'll hold up, but holy cow. You should have seen a miracle I just pulled in that thing, bro. What's up, buddy? Good run. I seen you're up here with 883 when I got in. Man, are they really going to do this to me up here? There we go. Nope, it's going to swim off too. Come on, bro. Right when I go to move. You didn't get your first... Yeah, me either, Jer. I had to have the chat watch it back for me. I knew I was close. I couldn't remember... I didn't even write mine down. The chat helped me. But my first spot, I got a trophy, but I felt like I sat there too long. And then I went to the wall. I did it a little different way, but yeah, nonetheless, I don't even know how I pulled off what I pulled off. I was trying to get five uniques. I was going to go big or go home. And long story short, I don't even know how I did what I did. But I had a plan going in, but it would have been great if I could have practiced a little bit. My damn internet went out. Uh, I think you could spot in this angro, but I don't know if it would, I don't know if it'd be worthwhile, bud. I, I put a little mix on my feeder. I don't know if it helps. I know you're not going to get oversized. I've never tried it, to be honest, man. I, I spot in Sturgeon and, or the, uh, Stravaganza, though. Well, Jer, I didn't even get to practice, but we know how practices go, man. That's why I usually don't practice over practice for something like those things because you get your mind frame of what you expect you're going to score. And then when you get into that thing, it's never the same, man. Almost never. Me and I think I've told the story a thousand times, but me and John that was playing with you guys today, Bally, you know, Bally, uh, we practiced 15 to 16 hours for that world catfish tour at St. Croix. I had everything marked out for us and everything, and uh, I went into that thing expecting to get a minimum of four uniques, and I got one unique in that thing, man. Ever since that, I told myself I am not over-practicing for these tournaments, man. No way, no how. Not that you shouldn't go in and practice some, I'm just saying. Your outcomes are so far off of what your practices are at times, it, you can't even really expect a... There's a nice 53-pounder. I needed that one. In other words, Jer, I bet you could have practiced that three times, get your unique in time for that hour and a half respawn, and that still probably would have happened to you, man. You just did the one.
oh yeah, I know what you're saying. Do it a week in advance so you're not. In other words, I, I hate that the built air palm in May six so large minnow. Yep, nice. Uh, but yeah, Jerry, you don't. Well, my point is that I hate the uh, the roller coaster effect that it gives you because you're like, I just know from that catfish thing, man. It really. It, I almost quit. <laughs> I almost quit playing Fishing Planet when that happened, when me and John practiced that so hard. Yeah, the refresher's good, but I know what you're saying. Practice it once a week before, maybe, just so you're accustomed to what you're doing. In other words, it's easier to deal with the disappointment if you haven't put too much into it, if that makes any sense. At least that's my frame of mind with them anymore. Well, yeah. Oh, there's another 54. Boy, I needed that one, too. Uh, definitely wanted to expect a decent run. Of, yeah. Well, I know uh, Grizzly didn't uh, Grizzly qualified in that last year. I didn't get to see where he'd finished. I think he was having an off run today, too. But I know Grizzly's really good at those taming. I think I even sent him an extra mark that he didn't have. But I know he, he did good in that thing last year, I'm pretty sure, didn't he? Top three or something. How'd Shock end up doing? I think Shock won that last year. Uh, how did you lose it? Did it just get off? Spit the hook or something silly? Or did it just fly out of the water on the hook set? Oh, he did win it. Okay, yeah. I thought he did. I looked back at the scores on the uh, Hall of Fame, on the qualifiers, to see where the points were yesterday, and I could have swore he was up at the top. Is this spot really going to do this to me? Oh, there he is. This one's smaller, I think. Is this my first small, small? Oh, I thought that was going to happen to me a sec. This is my small one. I was due for a small one. Damn, and they hit me with the 31, bro. Hold on a second. I got to count something. Is that my first one? Hold on, boys. I got lost in the conversation there. Okay, so I got four off the island. I got two up close, one from the window, and one from me. I got one more. Boy, they punished me bad, boys. I was expecting a, th a 35 or 38, not a 31. But yeah, that about happened to me, Jer. My boat was flipping over. I'm like, man, I'm going to be mad if I lose this on low tension. I thought for sure I was going to. This one's going to make me wait, too. Boy, I'm going to be running short on time. I'm trying to remember how I used to time this out. Oh, you were saying the same thing and then it actually happened to you? Ouch. Don't give me two smalls in a row. That'll just be mean. Oh, well, at least I got my sturgeon, boys. I'm not going to cry. Whatever he is. B45, please, though. Don't don't be another back-to-back -back tiny. Is it a back-to-back -back tiny? No, I'll take it. 43. Not horrible. This one will probably get me. I got to remember when I go back to the beach to get one far one. Shot. How the hell? He never bites this quick. Say what? Oh, this one might be chunky too. Oh, he's scanned for me, too. Get on in here, big boy. 
I'll take it. Almost 50. Jar, do you remember, is the respawn 11 minutes on these or 22? I can't remember if they're 11 or 22. I want to see a charger tell me 11. Oh, they are 22, for crying out loud. All right. Twenty-two and a half. I might end up having to leave. I'm trying to think what I left over there. I'm behind pace. I'm trying to remember exactly how I used to time this out. Now I can only give this probably another minute and a half, two minutes, so I might have to leave this one behind. This one usually gets me. I was shocked that the first one bit so quick. Jer, have you practiced for the Q3 at all? It's 45 minutes in game time. All right. I don't think this one's gonna come fast. Let me uh, try something. I'll try it at Got six. I heard it's horrible. I practiced just a brief bit live stream this morning in between the two comps I played in. And uh, boy, it looks like it's not going to be fun. Yeah, I don't blame you, bro. I was just curious. Is it slow, slow, slow? It looked like it would be. I, I went in there for like 25 minutes. I don't even know what peak that thing's on, but I went in there and tried all kinds of lures on those stripers, man. I didn't get one striper, but I'm figuring most people are going for the stripers in that, man. This thing is just not going to hit. Yeah, it looks rough. I'm all out of sequence too, boys. I kind of needed to. I think I'm gonna be lucky to hit 750, boys. Well, there's a spot that I was gonna park over there. I was trying it live stream, where you could get the stillhead, the Chinook, and the Striper. I mean, I know the still had an ideal, but if you got lucky and got the 31, 32 pounder, since they respawn fairly quick, but I couldn't get a striper. Like I said, I only cast it on them for like 25, 30 minutes real time, but I, I couldn't even get a striper, bro. The second one's not going to come out of here. Good grief. Now I'll probably be waiting over there forever. All right, fellas. Yeah, this is not going to go well.
How many starting starting did you get in this one, Jared? Did you get nineteen? I don't know if I'm gonna get sixteen. Well, what I was thinking is if I could get the, uh, assuming my score don't hold. I was thinking in that, looking at the, uh, nice, 19, I thought you, that's what I figured you had. I was thinking in that thing, while you're waiting for your stripers to respawn, you could go for your stillhead then, stillhead in your Chinook. That's assuming you can get them to bite. This is live, will get really ugly, fellas. <laughs> By the time you hook them, 30 minutes, yeah. Well, I was thinking if a guy got tier one RNG in that thing, you could almost try to get a striper or two, try to get your, if you timed it right. I didn't have enough time to mess with it. That and I couldn't even get a striper to bite, but it was just a thought I had in my head. And Double K saying this is a slow day. I don't know if I've played in this one to know which one's slow or fast. Is this the slow day for this, Jer? Oh, Peanut got up there in the thousands. That's a good run. Me either, Jer. <laughs> this one, I don't... Some of them I've got figured out where I know it's going to be a slow peak or not, but this one, I... This one, I love this one. This one's not on enough for me. I really like this one. It's usually on in a really weird time. I don't know what it is, but I just like this one. Holy 55-pounder, boys. I needed that. All right, let's see if I can stick this out. Thank you, Tom. This one and starting in the dark, Tom, was the one I was going to show you on SharePlay sometime if you want and show you exactly how I do it. And then if you just wanted to make whatever adjustments, you should do all right with it. But you can make your, like, even on your hook size, if you want to do 5060, oh, oh, a lot of people say go, you know, try to get 20 or 22 and then just let the numbers speak for themselves. Go 5060. Oh, oh. I do it unorthodox and run uh, seven O's and I put some mix in my feeder. But. It can, I'm off pace because I uh, I got all big fish, but I'm off pace as far as getting them to bite quick enough, though, unfortunately. But if you come in here and you get a good bite rate, you can you could do well this way. But you'll still get a small every now and then like that. I got, dude, I've got some really big fish in my net, too, but it's hit me with a 31 and a 30 no matter what. But it was a quick fish, so we'll take it. I don't know if I can get 
This one came so much later too, I don't know. My timing's off on this one, boys. I think one of these times I'm going to have to come in here and probably run this. Run this traditional way and just see. But it seems like when I did the 5060 in this thing, it just... I always get the small ones, not just two or three of them, like six or seven of them. And this one might be small. Are you serious, bro? Let's hope he's playing possum. I don't think he is. Surely not another 30 pounder, man. Not bad, 41. Oh yeah, they like the swim baits, bro. Try arrow hit the swim bait, uh, the arowana, the uh, speckled bass, the shark even sometimes. And this is going to kill me too, but I can't go over the island yet. I got to wait for them to respawn. That's going to be. Yep. I was going to say, I couldn't think of the other one. I don't know even the Orico or whatever they're called. I don't even know if I can pronounce it right, man. Yep. Those, they're pretty looking bass. I think I've caught the Apapa there too on those things. Butterfly bass will hit him. Oh, you just downsize and put a floral leader on the. Uh... You just testing that out for it. Yep, fellas, I pretty much killed this over here. Golly. I may have to downsize hooks just to try to... I kind of need this to hit, though, bro. I don't even know if I'm going to hit 700, fellas. There he is, finally, for crying out loud, bro. Don't be no 31-pounder now. Not horrible. Definitely running out of time though. I gotta hope these have respawned right here.
I am Essex. I think we're all looking forward to some new comps. It'll be fun, man. Jukunda. I think I'm even going to try my little jig winner. A jig winner or a Loki or something small. I think it's going to be fun wading through all the uh, Bayara, uh, the Piara, the Arowana. It depends on where you're casting for them. Heck, even the Croaker. The Croaker is probably going to be getting in the way too. <laughs> depending on where you're fishing for them at. That should be an interesting little comp, to be honest. Guys, I think I'm going to be waiting here pretty long no matter what. I'm debating on putting a downsize in my hook, though. Should I? Or just stick it out? This is hot, oh man. I'm thinking about it. I don't think it's going to matter, though. I'll be lucky to get two more fish, fellas. My, my time's off when I got my fish over here quick enough. You're starting to become an expert at croaker? I don't know, bro. Back in my back in my early days, man, that seems like all I caught was the old croaker from lake to lake. I could probably hang with you on the croaker, bro. <laughs> yeah, those guys. That and the prawner, right? The prawner are always in the way. All right, fellas, this is not looking good now. I don't even know this thing. <laughs> no, I don't think an Arapaima on a jig one would be nice. Yeah, I don't want to miss on Arapaima on that thing for sure. Yeah, these things, I don't think they're going to spawn, fellas. Let me try something just to save grace here. I told you, boys, this is risky doing this the way I do it. I don't recommend this for everybody. Anybody watching this back, if you like the 5060, stay with them. But I like to kind of go that first round or two like that and see what happens. I am very hard-headed player, fellas. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. I was messing around in the... I don't know if you were watching me. I was doing the Halloween event for the first time. Essex and... Uh, Long story short is I was trying to catch these demon uh, sturgeon or whatever they had here. I was trying to get them on a, uh, I think a heavy chaser, and it wouldn't let me catch them. I didn't catch it till Richard Styles had seen it. But I was trying to undersize myself just to make it a good fight, to have fun with the, the Halloween fish here. <laughs> but yeah, they wouldn't let you catch it. Boy, I still got to, let's see what happens here. This is probably tiny, but I was just trying to save grace to get one in here, fellas. Yep, to be expected, I am running a 4 -0. Yes, you did, Fork. Harry <laughs> Fork. Bro, I love you, bro. You were bragging up the Niners, and I told you it was a long season. Now, you didn't even... Your Niners went on a little bit of a slump, bro. And then you didn't come over and say anything. And now you're back over here gloating. So you got to take the ups and the downs, man. In other words, when the Niners have a bad week, you still got to show up. And then come in here. But yeah, good stuff, buddy. I'm rooting for you, man. I hope they have a good year. But it's a long season, so hopefully uh, it's usually ups and downs. Long as they can get into the playoffs, I think they'll be all right, man. I don't know about the Buffalo Bills though, bro. What about them Bills? They're not they're not playing well, bro. You think they can salvage the season? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tom. <laughs> there you go. 
Tom knows what I'm joking about. He was chirping right along there when they were 5-0. and oh. oh, they're going to go undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we didn't see him for about a three-week period. <laughs> Meanwhile, the old Eagles and the Chiefs, they, they've stayed pretty strong, haven't they, Tom? And we haven't even really gloated all that much. All right, fellas. It looks like that's where they downed me up. It is what it is. I had fun with it. Oh, here he goes. Am I going to get a buzzer beater? I'll take it, fellas. No! Heartbreaker Hotel. Here we go, boys. And the clock hits zero. Tell me it wasn't a 40-pounder. Nope, 29 pounder. Survey says it looks kind of puny here. We have to wait till it loads. <laughs> What's it doing? Come on, bro. I didn't get it in here, so I have to sit and watch this. <laughs> Eagles and the Niners play soon. That should be a good game, to be honest with you. You and Fork should make a bet and have to send each other fireworks or something on the game, boys. Is this going to load or not? Come on. Please tell me this didn't freeze my stream up, man. <laughs> what a chance. Kansas City stomps the Eagles' guts out here pretty soon. I'm not going to say. I have to root for my Chiefs, but I just hope for a good game. But I was thinking you guys should have a firework bet or something here. Like, let's say... I don't know. Twenty-five fireworks to the to the winning team, and you guys just gift each other. Whether the Eagles or the Niners win there, I think I broke the sturgeon, fellas. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. Looks like this is where they stuck me here. What? Hold on a second. Is it gonna reload? Come on, fishing planet. What's going on, bro? I know I didn't catch the fish in time, but what are you doing right now? Oh, this game. I think it'll probably be a close game, man. I'm thinking it's going to be like the Chiefs and the Dolphins game. It could be like a 28-35 or 21-14 or 24-28, 27-24. I think it's going to be one of those games with the Eagles and the Chiefs, to be honest. It could go either way, man. It could go either way. All righty, fellas. Apparently, this is not going to load. Uh, as far as tomorrow, obviously, I got to see. Uh, by the time I get home from work, number one, I got to see if my score held in the uh, Q2. If it did hold, then obviously I'm not playing in Q3. If it didn't hold and somehow I take 21st again, like I did in Q1, then obviously I'm paying Q3. Uh, Jer, uh, Tom here was having issues. Uh, his, his screen glitched out and stuff. His avatar and stuff was glitched out at the, uh, the Slinge event. And then Stringed Weber Jordan was, uh, oh, you're fine, Z. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Also, uh, as I'm sitting here, somebody had trouble. Thomas, uh, Jordan had trouble. He couldn't get his boat to spawn and almost didn't get to the finish line. So there's all kinds of stuff happening. But anyway, boys, obviously this this game's froze on this fish. But uh, it is what it is. Anybody watches this back, you could probably just follow the same route that I did. Do 5-0s, 6-0s. You'd probably be a little better off. But I'm going to continue to use the big hooks because I'm just crazy. That's what I do. Yeah, I will. I'm going to end this stream here, and I'll go over there and look at it real quick, Drew. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.